One common issue a lot of technicians have or shops have when they're replacing tires on a customer's vehicle is sometimes the the required pressure in the new tire is different than the required pressure in the old one. It doesn't always match the placard uh, the, that's in the inner door jam here. So in essence to keep the customer safe we need to inflate the tires to where the tire manufacturer recommends. Well we also don't want the TPMS light to be on and make the system inoperative. So we need to adjust the placard information inside the vehicle or change that tire pressure threshold if you will. So today I've got a 2017 Dodge Durango and I'm going to use an aftermarket scan tool here to change the tire pressure threshold to ensure that this job is done right and the lights out after the tire change occurs. So now I'm using the Snap-on Solus here. I've identified the vehicle and I'm going to scroll to body control module. Yes, it lists the TPM or the wireless control module, but we need to go into body control module functions here. And so I'm going to select body control. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down past miscellaneous functions, which is actually where you can change the tire size. But we're going to go down to system tests. And system tests says update pressure thresholds. It says this procedure will update the TPMS load and inflation pressure using the BCM and the TPM if present. Use the cold tire inflation pressure for the front and drivers listed on the tire and loading information label. So I'm going to say OK. Take a second to collect some data. Now it shows me the currently programmed information here. So I will, I've got the front tire highlighted. I'm going to say yes. And now I can scroll through and select the pressure I'm looking for. So I'm going to go with 40 PSI in the front. Now it asks me for rear. So I'm going to select 44 for the rear. It's writing the information to the ECU. And now it says it's successfully updated the tire pressure values in the BCM and the TPM. Yes to continue. And just like that, now we see our data has changed and we've got our new pressure thresholds into the control module here. So when the new tires are installed, we can properly inflate them and send the vehicle down the road with the customer knowing that the tire pressure monitoring system is going to work as designed.